Okay, um, Mr. Nand Kumar, we'll have to interrupt you there. We need to go across uh, to the management of Subex. Uh, Subhash Menon uh, joins us uh, with more details about uh, the company's uh, business and the performance this quarter around. Uh, Subhash, thanks very much for taking out the time. Uh, uh, could you run us uh, through the performance this quarter around and what would be the key growth drivers that investors should watch out for in the coming quarters? Hi. Uh, yeah, the, the, the key thing here really, uh, and if, if you look at the different parameters that we uh, monitor in any quarter or in any financial year, is the order intake that we've had. And in our core business, when you look at the kind of order intake we've had, which is RMS business, revenue maximization solutions, we've had a 63% of order intake growth as against quarter one of last year. If you look at the entire products business, you would see an order intake growth of 52%. So that's an extremely strong order intake. If you look at the whole of last year, we had like 45, 46% kind of order intake growth. So this, is need, this needs to be compared with, with that number. So on the whole, the key driver for our growth is the order intake growth because un, that's the starting point because you have got the order intake growth and then that uh, you know, turns into revenue which then moves into cash so you've got a better free cash flow. So we are seeing an extremely strong momentum in our order intake uh, here because of the sort of offering that we have. Uh, Rock as a platform has really gained a lot of traction and uh, the way in which we deliver that, which is a managed services uh, in a model, that is also gaining significant traction. So I think it's a combination of both Rock as a platform or technology and managed services as a way in which we offer that which is driving this growth because in today's context where the telcos are facing an extremely tough competitive environment they and and uh, the difficulty that they face in maintaining a you know, focus on different areas of their business core competence becomes a critical element and those who can really focus on that core competence i mean it's so our core competence is managing business optimization solutions so they are handing over that's a managed services model they're handing over business optimization solutions to us for us to manage that on on their behalf and that is a very long-term business it's a very large value business because the entire operation of that function is being handed over to us and that's what is reflecting in the sort of order intake that we are seeing now. Hmm. Subhash, uh, uh, what do you think uh, would you would do in terms of the performance on the bottom line for the next three quarters as well? It's been a strong bottom line performance, never mind the fact that the top line has not been the best. You think that this kind of performance can continue in the bottom line in the next three quarters as well? Our product business is very non-linear in nature and that's what we have been proving over and over again every quarter and that will continue in the coming quarters as well. So we are looking at an EBITDA number of 35% plus for the whole of this year and, and that would definitely mean a strong bottom line. How strong a bottom line would this be? I mean, because there is uh, quite a bit of divergence in the kind of top line and the bottom line performance that you have. What will drive this bottom line performance. You think you think it is safe to extrapolate the kind of performance that we have given in Q1 for the next three quarters as well? Well, I mean, there are there are other line items there, like exceptional line items, things like that, which we have absolutely no control sure. over. Uh, but if you look at it from hmm. uh, excluding the exceptional line item performance, absolutely, this is uh, you would see actually better than what we have seen now. Even All right, uh, lots. Carry on, Tanvir. All right, uh, Mr. Menon, we'll uh, leave it at that. Uh, thanks very much uh, for joining us this afternoon. Uh, down about 4% uh, Subex uh, in today's session. Uh, okay, let's just uh, get in uh, some more earnings. Uh,